the D1 and the DV video specifications for both the NTSC and PAL systems specify non-square pixels. These are often called the D1 aspect ratio. On the other hand, computer monitor pixels are square, so that the D1 pixels are vertically shorter. For this reason, when you look at a D1 video image on a computer monitor, the images appear to be squashed vertically. This will make the actors appear to be shorter, for example. When this same image is displayed on a broadcast monitor like a television, the pixels are wider than they are tall and appear normal as shown in this image here. The image on the left is displayed on a video monitor. The image on the right is displayed on a computer monitor. Note that the computer monitor image looks vertically compressed but it looks normal over here on the video monitor. Notice, for example, this building here looks a bit more squat and thicker than that one over there. Now, for this reason, video images that are intended for display on computer monitors must be pixel aspect corrected by scaling the image to a valid 4 to 3 aspect ratio. For NTSC, the full square pixel resolution is 720, by 540 vertical compensation, as I mentioned in the previous movie. And for PAL, it's 768 by 572, which is going to get a horizontal compensation. Commonly used final video display resolutions on the internet include 640 by 480, 512 by 384, 320 by 240, and 160 by 120. Most video editing applications like Premiere Pro or Final Cut compensate for this pixel aspect ratio discrepancy by scaling the video image in real time while rendering it on the computer monitor. This is done because eventually the images are intended to return to television monitors for final display and scaling the actual pixels in the video file would needlessly introduce a subtle distortion from the scaling operation. However, for web display, this real-time compensation is not a good approach since the video sequence will ultimately be displayed on a square pixel monitor. In this case, then, it should be hard rendered to compensate for the discrepancy. There's one last video term that we need to cover, and that is also related to the discrepancy between video monitors and computer monitors, and that's the interlaced versus progressive video, which is the topic of the next movie.